Hello there comrades, uh, Danny Chia here. So uh, we need to take a really uh, quick video uh, because Legion, um, she's gonna come out um, very soon. But before she comes out, I need to show you how to put on um, this wig, okay? This is called Nwuluk, N-W-L-K, Nwuluk. Uh, but um, sometimes, just sometimes, we call it New Wave Long Kai. And Kai, kind of like means um, like new or like improved or like changed. And I'm gonna show you why. And that is because um, this wig has a different type of um, construction whereby there's actually no um, elastic on the inside. And um, that actually makes it quite difficult to put on. But because of this turnover style, you can actually style the wig in such ways whereby you won't see um, the wig cap. I'll show you. I'll show you what I mean. Okay. So first, I need to remove the head. Uh, when you do so, always hold the neck like so. Wriggle the head off like this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, take the parting over here. Do you want to come in just a little bit closer? The parting over here. I want that to end around. I want that to be there. Okay. So I'm going to place the head. Uh, in the wig cap like so. Then I'm going to hold the wig and head as uh, firmly as I can without pushing the eye because when you push the eye they scream really loud. Um, but don't worry um, because humans won't be able to hear that scream. Um, but if you've got pets they will hear the scream because they'll start uh, running around in circles. So if you see them running around in circles then um, you know your, your doll's in pain and your, your pets are probably in pain too. Anyway, so, um, so don't, yeah, don't push the eyes. Anyway, so what you do now is I'm going to tug the back um, of the wig over the head, but at the same time I'm going to make sure that I'm not grabbing it so much that it won't let me um, tug um, the wig over the, over the head. So I'm going to have these fingers over here slightly loose. Okay, so I'm going to start tugging on the back like so. And then you'll kind of like feel it, um, I guess, like come into place. And I'm going to adjust the front bit just a little bit like so. Okay, I think that's showing a bit too much um, forehead. So I'm going to pull it down slightly like this. Okay, so I'm going to check the whole balance by putting the head back onto the body, like so. And um, I think I think that looks okay. I think that looks okay. Now, uh, what I mentioned just now, you can actually flip the hair in such a way so that you don't really notice um, the wig cap because it's got this like turnover style. And um, we wouldn't be able to do that with the uh, traditional wigs, which do have elastic. So uh, the pros and cons, uh, elastic, easy to put on, but when you do a flip like this, you'll see um, the wig cap. And, uh, but with this style, um, quite difficult to put on, but afterwards, um, it's very unlikely that this wig will like, go uh, flying off in the wind and um, you can actually style it in a way so that you don't see um, the wig cam. Now, because this is um, difficult to put on, what you can do is if you have arthritis or you can't get strength into your hands, you can leave a note for the team to um, request that the wig be put on for you. And uh, what we usually do is when folks request um, us to do so, we put a little bit of um, double-sided tape um, underneath um, the wig as well. So, but do bear in mind, if we do that, it's going to leave some sticky residue on the wig, um, what do you call it, the, the wig cap and um, the wig um, at the same time as well. And um, I, think, I think that's about it. I'm sure I'm forgetting lots of stuff, uh, but I'll follow up in um, some blurb later on. Okay, that's about it.